My name is Vida, and I am an artist, and I host Raw Figs, a figure drawing pop-up here in Miami. I was not born in Miami. I was born in Puerto Rico. I decided to stay in Miami because I wanted to network, but also be surrounded at the same time by Latino culture. What I love about my profession is I get to be a creative, but also extend my creativity to other locals here in Miami. Miami is definitely a source of inspiration, especially in coffee shops, Cuban coffee shops. Uh, when old people go, they go to talk to each other and socialize. My heritage as a Boricua doesn't exactly influence my artwork, but when it comes to raw figs, it definitely makes me feel more connected to people because Boricuas are very welcoming. My relationship with art is infinite, uh, forever. For me, it's so necessary that it helps me breathe. Hi, my name is Mark Rosa. I'm a menswear specialist and a curator as well. My job is to present opportunities for the youth that wasn't present for me. Well, I was born in New York City and I moved here in 2009 at the ripe age of 19 and I've been here ever since. I love the city and I'll never go. To describe my art is definitely to describe my style. I'm influenced by the city of Miami, especially Little Haiti. I'm definitely influenced by their culture, you know, the Caribbean influence. Well, if it's your first time in Miami, I'm gonna be biased and I'm gonna tell you, you gotta come to Supply and Advise downtown. That's where I'm at. Then afterwards, I'm gonna tell you to go to my favorite bar called Jaguar Sun right up here at Lot 6. And you definitely gotta check that out as well. My name is Rose Alexis and I am a photographer in Miami, Florida. I was not born here, I was born in Haiti. I decided to stay because Miami is so diverse and I love it here. My favorite neighborhood would have to be Little Haiti because my people and the culture live there. One thing I love about my profession is the fact that there's no limits. I could create whatever I want. My relationship with art is amazing. It allows me to be myself. I would describe my art natural, freeing, but also vivid and bright. Being able to be in my creative space and able to express myself freely is a big influence. Miami does inspire me a lot with all the diversity here. It does push me to continue to do what I'm doing now. When I feel stuck with my creativity, I usually meditate and that helps me reset and be able to create again. My name is Drew Baptiste and I'm a model for Miami. My name is Makai Baptiste. I mean, mostly traveling and taking pictures with new people. I mean, there's no other place than Miami, the vibe, the music, and the people. I like going to the beach with my kids, just let them run around, and I just sit up, you know. I mean, I think being different is beautiful. The more different you are, the more beautiful you are. I mean, the definition of family bond is being a pack of people basically pushing forward for one idea. I mean, I think my daughter loved me the most, but my son, I mean, he take a couple features from me. To experience life with my son is a blessing, you know. Before my son, it was more like hardship and struggle. But once I got my kids, especially my son, it was more like a blessing. I mean, I started doing a lot of stuff in my life and started being a better father. My name is Carolina Cosso and I am the regional sales manager for an Italian wine importer. I wasn't born in Miami, but uh, I was born in uh, Cagliari, Sardinia. I think Miami decided that I had to stay here and I love it. I love my profession because it makes me travel and I'm always around very interesting people. The best food that you can find in Miami is uh, Argentinian steakhouse and Cuban empanadas. Life in Miami as an Italian is great. You can find your spot and uh, I definitely I found my people too. When I feel homesick, I go to my friend's restaurant with Fegatolo Veneziana. My name is Jermaine Barnes and I'm an architect. What I love about being an architect is because I get to shape the city that I live in. I was born in Chicago, Illinois. I decided to stay in Miami because it's a city that's filled with opportunity. My favorite place is Liberty City.
The strongest feelings I have about the Dolce Combana Boutique is the materiality. The unfinished travertine, the semi-finished travertine, the rough travertine gives us a very different feeling within the building, depending on where we are. When one steps inside of the Dolce & Gabbana Boutique, they can't help but look at the striking building facade. If you look at the curvature of the actual glass, it resembles the curtains from a theater. When you reach the upper level of the boutique, you're met by a bunch of exposed wooden rafters and spotlights, which really make you feel as though you're behind the scenes of an actual movie theater. The amazing thing about Miami's style of architecture is that it's still being created. 